coming to you from the heart of the coastal empire and low country. You're watching News Channel 15 on your side. Happy Halloween, everybody. Thanks for watching News Channel 15 on this 31st day of October 2008. Tonight we're going to have an On Your Side exclusive investigation on Saran Wrap and its possible links to cancer. Take a look. You're hungry and you want a quick bite to eat, so you get something out of the fridge and stick it in the microwave. You put the plastic wrap on and you're eating in a matter of seconds. Microwaving your food, easy right? But could that plastic wrap you put over your food be dangerous to your health? News Channel 15 wanted to know. Plastic wrap safety concerns were instigated after an email was circulated in 2002. The email stated that a doctor from Alabama warns the public that harmful chemicals called dioxins will leak into your food from heated plastic wrap. Another email in 2002 explains that a high school student discovered that plastic wrap releases a cancer-causing chemical called DEHA that leaks into food when the wrap is heated. Since the circulation of these emails, many have come to question the safety of plastic wrap. Dioxins are hydrocarbons that contain chlorine and they've been directly linked to cancer. DEHA is a plastic substance used to make plastic wrap more pliable. It is suspected of causing cancer as well. So can plastic wrap in your kitchen really be harmful to your health? Johnson & Johnson, the company that makes saran wrap, says that it does not put chlorine in its plastics. It also says that saran wrap does not contain dioxins, nor does it contain DEHA. We checked with the Food and Drug Administration and they said that there shouldn't be any dioxins in plastic wraps. They also said that the levels of DEHA that may potentially be consumed from preparing food with plastics are harmless. If you do microwave with plastic wrap, use only microwave safe plastics. Don't let the film touch your food and allow steam to escape the container. If you're still worried about using plastic, there are some alternatives. Don't use paper or plastics of course, and use a glass lid and glass containers and allow the steam to be released. News Channel 15 also tried to contact the Georgia Coastal Health District, but they did not respond to our questions. Thanks for watching News Channel 15 on your side, and of course, you can always visit myspace.com slash newschannel15 for all of your news and sports and lots of other things too. Thanks for watching News Channel 15. Have a safe and happy holiday.